I'm here with Kennedy McQueen, sophomore guard for Utah's women's basketball. Kennedy, wow. Utah is rolling right now. I feel like that's an understatement. Like you guys are killing it. You're undefeated. You're ranked number 15 in the country. And you have the number one scoring average as a team with 97 points per game. How does it feel? feels great I think something that makes it even better is we all came in with a goal this season to keep building off last year and we're doing everything in our power to make that keep it rolling like you said so it's been an awesome feeling yeah last year you guys made it to the Pac-12 title game second round in the NCAA tournament how have you guys been able to keep that momentum through the summer through preseason and then to Pac-12 play it's a long time in between then right. <laughs> right. I think experience is one of the things that comes to mind um just getting that season under our belt um making it to the big games like the Pac- Pac-12 tournament all of those were big games and then to play in the championship and then the NCAA tournament um all that just added experience to a pretty young team um, so we returned most our people and then got got new freshmen in and Alyssa has been a big, big part of our success. And so to get her to come in and she has a lot of experience as well. Um, so I think com- combining stuff like that is has been really big um, throughout the summer. We just worked on mainly just skill wise, um, as you can see, like offensively. Um, we put a big emphasis on that every day in practice all throughout summer. So just just trusting in that work that we've put in and then defensively, just putting an extra focus on that. That's where we need to get better to take us to that next level. So every day, just being intentional about that. That is so good. Yeah, we got to talk about Alyssa for a second, too. You guys yeah. are bringing eight people back, but you got one big addition who she transferred from USC What's it been like playing against her? And now you're like, thank God she's on our team now. <laughs> exactly. She's been awesome. Um, an even better person too. I actually live with her. So it's been great to be able to get to know her. Um, one of my favorite things about Alyssa is she's one of the hardest workers I've ever met. Um, mm-hmm. She's in there before practice. I, I don't know if it's every day, but it's it's all the time. Um, doing conditioning to be able to play at the speed and pace we play at. And she's do- done a phenomenal job at that. Um, as you can see, like, look at her numbers. She, she's bought into a, our program and our role of thumb and she she follows it. Um, and just being in a pick and roll with her is a guard's dream. May oh I say? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? She's wow. Awesome. She's awesome. Okay. What type of roommate is she though? You can tell me. I won't she, tell anybody. She's a great teammate. Great teammate, great roommate. She she really is. She's a blast to be around and so funny. That's one thing I w- wasn't expecting necessarily from Alyssa. And she is so funny. <laughs> really fun. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. Well, we have to talk about that amazing game against Oklahoma where you guys scored 124 points, tied a school record. You had 20 points yourself. What did you guys kind of sit back in awe after that? Like, wait, do we just do that? (laughs) I remember. So down to get into the Huntsman, um, you have to walk down this long tunnel and we were walking back up and the walk back is horrible. It's all uphill. Anyway, (laughs) so we were walking back. So we have lots of time to talk is my point there. Um, And we were just saying like, like, that's one of the things we just said, like, we knew we were going to win. Like, we were so prepared for that game. Practices were so intentional, um, especially after last year. Like, of course, that's going to leave a little sour feeling. Mm-hmm. Um, so be able, so being able to execute, um, not flawlessly, obviously, no game is ever flawless, but being able to put our game plan together and see it be successful like that, and then to a whole nother level, that was awesome. I think we were in awe for sure. I don't know if any of us were expecting that, but it was <laughs> awesome. We we worked for it and it, it ended up being in our favor for sure. That is so cool because that's not just any small <laughs> feat. That is a right. milestone right. that you are tying the school record. Did that kind of sink in too with just like, okay, our offense is clicking. It's working. Yeah, it was, especially against a very talented Oklahoma team. Um, Mm -hmm. It's not like it was some team that we were expecting to drop 100 on by any means. Um, They're a very talented team. So seeing it, being able to put it all together like that and executing, executing very well that game. um, Yeah, it was awesome. 
I, I, I'm noticing too, in your offense that you guys run a lot of dribble handoffs, a lot of driving kick. Has that kind of been an emphasis too, of just that ball movement, but also a little bit of that patience too. That's been fun to watch. Right. Yeah. That's been, that's what we literally call Utah basketball. So like on our game plan, one of our goals, almost every game is play Utah basketball, um, mm-hmm. up fast tempo, fast pace, and then just being patient in the corners. That's something we've really worked on in practice is it takes two and the guards need to wait in the corner um, and the posting to dribble with tempo. And we rep that literally every day in practice. Um, so being able to just finally get that down and then knowing we're both on the same page, I think is what makes it really deadly. And we can, we can kill teams in the inside. And then if they take away that, we always have our kick out three. So just Oklahoma was a big game where that finally all came together. Mm-hmm. So it's a nightmare matchup because how okay. do you guard, how do you guard either one of those? And then right. you have Alyssa Peely in the point in the post, exactly. there's nothing you can do. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> and you know, we know you're a shooter, shooter, shoot, and you right. are, are locked and loaded. I feel like that drive and kick offense works perfect for your game. How does it feel to be involved in that system and, and for your game to kind of thrive in that? Yeah, like you said, um, I think the system fits me really well, and that's one of the biggest parts of why I chose Utah. Um, Of course, when you're choosing a school, you want to choose a place you know you can be successful and be set up for success. Um, So, yeah, Utah basketball does a great job at that. Um, We play very unselfish. Um, Mm -hmm. It can be anyone's night, any night, Um, and I think that's what another part that makes us really deadly. Um, We have threats on all levels and just knowing that no one's out to get theirs and it's literally just come away with the W um and we've done a great job at that throughout the whole um preseason so mm. playing a system like that is so fun just knowing everyone's so unselfish and they're going to make the right basketball play the extra pass um it's it's such a fun system to play in and I, I want you to to brag on yourself a little bit what <laughs> yeah. what else is in your bag we know last you, you finished second in Pac-12 in shooting percentage from the three what else you got that we maybe we'll be surprised this year about? Right. Um, something I really worked on in the off season. Um, obviously everyone's catching on that I can shoot the ball. Um, <laughs> so just being able to finish inside, um, getting to the basket, moves to the basket, different finishes. Um, so just things like that. And I've been able to showcase that in practice and in spurts in these games, which has been really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then another thing that I think I've really caught on on. And being able to transfer from high school, I was a really good passer in high school. Um, and then it took a second to transfer here. It's just like, you can't get away with things you did in high school, um, in right. college, obviously. So finally being able to put that whole thing together. Um, so knowing off pick and rolls, just mm-hmm. what type of pass to deliver or when I'm driving and getting the right spin on the ball to my shooters on the outside. So they don't have to, they don't have to fix the ball and they can just shoot it. Just little details like that. I've really focused on and have become a threat that way. I love it. Court vision. You can't really do a humble brag if you're wearing number 24. So yeah, (laughs) just just talk your talk. I I love it. (laughs) I love it. Another thing I love and probably one of my favorite things is that your mom was a hooper at Utah back in the day and you lit, you grew up what an hour away from, from campus. So was it always a dream to play for Utah? It was. It was always a dream to play at Utah. Um, When I got other offers, like I was interested, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, like I just knew, like I just had a feeling that Utah was always going to be it. Um, Mm -hmm. And being able to, I obviously grew up a big Utah fan. My my mom played there and my dad was actually the manager for the women's basketball team when she was here. So exactly. Very cute. Um, (laughs) So just being able to grow up in a, a family that is Utah through and through. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a no brainer when it came to picking Utah. That's awesome. And I believe your mom still holds the record for most steals in a game with nine. She does. Number one, how often does she remind you of this? And then number two, do you throw back like, mom, I led the team in steals last year. (laughs) Give me some credit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right she does throw that she does play that card a little bit which I respect like I would too if I held the record um but no she does a great job of that and then what's really awesome about my mom is like she coached me in high school and of course like parents give tips let alone when they're uh, an assistant high school coach right it's just you leave practice and it's still practice at home it feels like which is great has mm-hmm. its benefits but she really rode me on defense and I don't think I understood the importance of it till college um so being able to transfer 
all those things she's been talking to me about and I'll be shocked she was right about all things of that um so just being able to learn and transfer that over like after games like she's done such a great job at like just lifting me up no pressure from her whatsoever but just being able to be like Ken like when you're playing defense like that like those stills are yours you just gotta do this and then being able the next game be like oh yeah that does work um so just being able to learn from someone that I know knows the game knows what it's like to be in that um I I feel like I'm very blessed to be able to have a mom that knows that experience and those feelings that's amazing coach's daughter here too um that's a different different world that a lot of people (laughs) don't know about we survived we 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 made it so proud of you (laughs) I gotcha I do want to talk about defense though because you know, we have talked a lot about offense and the conversation around Utah is a lot about your guys' offense. It's clicking, it's moving, but you guys are forcing a lot of turnovers and you're getting stops to turn into your offense. What is the defensive mindset in the locker room? Yeah, we kind of picked up a new philosophy. And as soon as we came back in the summer, um, we implemented it and it took a little bit to get used to. Um, It's very different from last year, just as like we're, we're trying to not be a no middle team. Uh, we're trying to be a no middle team. And so just fixing those fine adjustments, like learning those angles or how far you can be angled in order to make them not use the screen or stuff like that, going off what our game plan is, depending on the game, but just everyone buying into that and knowing that that's one thing that kept us last year. I feel like some games from either coming out with the W in those close games or reaching it further, um, just I think everyone knows that was a big factor for us and we don't want that to be the reason that holds us back. Um, so everyone's buying into that every day in practice. Um, that was my biggest takeaway just from practice today was how hard everyone went on defense and learning that we're f- finally putting together all the pieces and rotations in our defense. It's exciting. And that's what preseason is all about. So come pack 12, we can just put that all together, which I'm look- so excited to look forward to. Yeah, when you are moving as a unit on defense, that's a different type of bond as a team, especially when you know that you can pressure the ball because my sister has my back or or whatever we're running. That is a that's a different type of vibe. So that's awesome. Exactly. That's really cool. That's really cool. Switching gears a little bit. I did want to ask about your recent trip to the South to play the HBCU Mississippi Valley State as your legacy game. I know that you guys had a meal together. You went to the Civil Rights Museum. How was that? Tell me everything. It was the one of the best experiences I've had in college basketball so far. Um, being able to be a part of something that's bigger than basketball um, was super neat. Um, the having a meal before the game, like at first we were kind of like, that's kind of weird. Like normally you don't <laughs> yeah. eat the other team before the game. Um, so all of us were a little like, that's kind of weird. But as soon as we got there and just being able to have conversations about the about what it's like to go to school at an HBCU and their differences and their experiences. Um, I think it was so cool to learn about and learn more about each of them personally. Um, They asked a lot of questions too, and it was just fun to see those differences, but just learning. One of my biggest takeaways was just those differences. Mm -hmm. Everyone's so different. Everyone's from so many different areas, whether it was Mississippi Valley State University or Utah like all of us came from different places yet basketball is what brought us together at the end of the day so being able to experience stuff like that it was super interesting it was super cool that's is there something that you learned that you kind of took away from that experience that you didn't know before yeah I think just being being grateful for everyone's differences um Mm. that's a obviously I knew that grew up that way but um just being able to see that um I'm from a little town so being once I came to Utah and being exposed to to the world um being from a little town it kind of seems like you're in a bubble sometimes um which has its positives but being able to come to college and gain my own understanding of everything and then being able to see it be put into play at an experience like that it was super cool That is amazing. I know that is something that even just watching the video and the photos, you guys will never forget that experience. That's so cool. It was really cool. That's awesome. Okay. Before I let you go, I always love to take it off the court a little bit. Um, I have been to Utah a few times, but only to St. George. So not Salt Lake city. So imagine you are my tour guide. You have the polo on and everything. Right. <laughs> and then the queen. 
Salt Lake City tour guide. You're driving the tour bus. What is the first place, like must see place that I have to go when I go to Salt Lake City? I just think, I can't think of a specific like lookout or hike, but Utah, specifically Salt Lake, is full of beautiful places. Um, Obviously, I grew up in Utah, so I'm definitely an outdoors girl. I love being outdoors. And Salt Lake has some of the best hikes, best views. Um, So I would take you somewhere like that to be able to witness that for yourself because it's unreal. Um, And then I'd probably take you, I have a lot of haters. It's kind of a hot take, but I love Zupa's. Um, Zupa's is like one of my favorite like soup sandwiches salad place and I am in love with that place Um, okay I'll probably take you there after our our hike you know okay the first two places I would probably take you that sounds fun I'm more of an indoorsy person but I will I'll bring the right shoes as long as I have the right right. shoes right we get a little soup so it's seeming like what's the best season to come I think if you're planning a full trip what's the season I feel like I would say summer just because I'm into more of like the the water the like whether it's going to the lake or the reservoir and paddle boarding like I'm that type of person but if you're into skiing I'm not I never grew up I mean I think I would be but I've never done it before but skiing snowboarding obviously Utah's really famous for that so I mean it depends on what you're into for sure. Okay. Well, I've never skied either so maybe we can take lessons for right. the first, yeah, the first time fun. in winter. Okay, yeah, great. Fun. Done. Great. The trip is booked. <laughs> <It's back. laughs> and also while you're there, you have to go to a Utah women's basketball game. That's right. like the key. Right. Yes, it is key. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kennedy, for talking to me. This was so fun. And good luck on your upcoming game against BYU. Thank you so much.